What's up, everybody? It's Catherine for Chakras and Cuss Words. I'm here to do the birth chart of Donald Trump. So unless you've been living under a rock, you probably already know that he has decided to run for the 2024 elections, even though he recently lost in 2020 against Joe Biden. So let's get into it. So this is a really unbiased opinion. This is just me reading his birth chart. So from the beginning, Donald is a sun in Gemini. He also has a moon in Sagittarius and he has an ascendant in Leo. A few things I want to point out about is that the ascendant in Leo really shows his ability to show himself as a leader to many people. What also stands out to me about his chart is during the time of his birth, he was actually a full moon in Sagittarius. This right here lets me know that he has this optimal energy of expanding and really having that space of growth, especially when it comes towards media and broadcasting. So even though many people might not agree with him, he's able to take this area full forward and kind of let that area shine. With this Leo energy as being his rising, he comes off very assertive and aggressive. And also having that full moon, it's like he has an excessive solar plex, which can make him be very narcissistic. Also, as we see, the upper left-hand quarter of his chart is basically empty. Another thing that stands out about this Leo energy of his, his leadership energy, is that it is centered in his 12th house, which actually starts with his Leo at one degree, and it contains his Mars and Pluto, which lets me know it's going to be a fight, and it's really going to be this transformational state all through his life. A few other things that really stand out is that in his second house, which is the house of money, is ruled by Virgo, which lets me know he's very grounded when it comes to money, but he also contains his Jupiter, which is about growth. So money did come for him very easily, and he was able to create a lot of success. So if you guys are asking me, do I see him as a knowledgeable businessman for his own personal gain, I would say yes. Another thing that really stands out about his chart is that he has multiple planets in opposition, which includes his moon in Sagittarius, his north node in Gemini, his Uranus in Gemini, and his sun in Gemini. And in all honesty, with the current astrological alignment that's coming up, this hasn't really been the best time for Geminis. And when you have an opposing moon, which is basically your most emotional state, not a good time, bud. Not a good time.